Hi, welcome back. We're going to learn today what the different purposes of maps are. Our, our first map is called a physical map. They show physical features like mountains and rivers, and they also show elevation. So you can see on this map that you can see the brown raised areas, bumpy areas show higher elevation like mountains, and the green areas show flatlands and plains. And that's just an area in Europe where you see a lot of mountains and how um, bumpy it looks in that area on a physical map. A political map shows boundaries made by man and these um, these particular maps on here show countries, different countries at the top of Africa and the Middle East, and then down in the bottom, some countries um, in Europe. It also shows you state boundaries, and you can see um, that this political map shows that um, quite well with the different colors on it. And there is a political map of the whole world. All right, special purpose maps are also called thematic maps. They show a particular theme or idea. So think about stadium maps, if you've been to a concert or a sporting event, weather maps on TV, and uh, park maps, if you've been to an amusement park or any sort of park, like the one on the top of the screen that was an amusement park map. <clears throat> the map on the bottom is a very special map. It's uh, kind of funky. It shows the uh, population of the world by country. And if you look on the right side, the big yellow and green blobs show are uh, showing how much uh, how many people live in India and China. I mean, that's why they're so big. And you look at other countries, they're all distorted due to their different sizes of population. And doesn't that map have a special name? Uh, cartogram. Okay. Also, another special purpose map, average daily temperature, snowfall, and the fire seasons of Australia. Here's a world map. This should be review from third grade of the seven continents. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. And there's a fun way to remember them with a silly sentence. Aunt Alice always eats nasty apple soup. So if you take the first letter of each of those words, they are the first letter of the seven continents. And lastly, we have the five oceans that you'll be learning about this year, the Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Southern, India, and Indian Ocean. And a fun way to remember that is apple picking is awesome sometimes. All right, so this is the end of the lesson. Uh, in class, we will be creating our own uh, world maps and labeling them and reviewing the types of maps. See you guys later.